Hey, what is going on my mates? Hope everyone is having a super duper good day so far. Happy Friday. Thank you to everyone that showed support on the bean yeah, challenge I think I'm gonna video. Throw that was really painful, but it was super fun. So hope you're having a really, really good day. We're gonna go out and do some errands. Just, just have some fun. Just hang out, have a good day. See you then. It was a crazy coincidence. I just hopped into my car and the camera was on. Okay, so we are headed out, but it is kind of a false start because I am going to the convenience store to pick up some snacks and some drinks for my dad because he's just not feeling 100 today. And I kind of look like Princess Leia, but you know, it's all good. So we're going to do that. We're going to get those. We're going to come back and then we're going to get going. Oh yeah, we're here. Okay, quick gas station tip, by the way. If you're just gonna get a snack, a drink, whatever, whatever, just go inside really quick, buy something, get out. Don't even bother looking for a parking space around. Just park next to a pump, go in, do your thing really quick, buy your drinks, your snacks, whatever, get in, get out, leave. Not only have you saved time not looking for a parking spot, you have also not even inconvenienced anyone trying to get gas because you're in, you're out so fast, you're creating a win-win situation. And if you do that, you'll never have to worry about anything in life, you're set. Also, I had a quick question. Does anyone else call these things corner stores? Ooh. Um, but, cause I know they're called convenience stores, just the stores where the you know next to the gas station or whatever but we kind of call them corner stores in my family so i was wondering if anyone else did that hey my mates as you know i normally get the sugar-free watermelon rock stars you know how it is you know me but today i decided to get a little crazy try some two different flavors of this energy drink called bang it's kind of been popping off in the last year and a half or so i got purple guava pear really interesting that sounds really crazy and power punch so don't know what power punch is gonna hold, but I guess I have some kind of idea about this one because it's guava and pear. So we're just we're just gonna dive right into this. Here we go. I think all these are clear colored too, which is kind of interesting. Let's see. Cool. Popped open nice and good. Got on the microphone a little bit. So I'm talking about. Okay. Dude, that is really good. Bang purple guava pear. They sponsor people, dude. I'm so down for it. But I'm gonna finish this off, go home, drop off, drop off the goodies here, and then get going. Then we're gonna probably sample this one in the car too. So if you wanna try Bang, dude, I'd recommend it. Like everything that I've tried by them is super good. Rockstar is still the superior energy drink company, obviously, like without even saying, come on, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, we're gonna go do that and catch you then. All right, update really quick before I go. This is just getting better the more that I drink it. <clears throat> No weird aftertaste, sugar-free, not too crazy on the caffeine. I mean, there actually is probably a lot, but there's also a lot of natural stuff. So that's cool. I think caffeine's natural anyway, but this just has a lot of cool stuff in it. It has BCAAs. That's good for you. I don't know why, but it sounds like it is. I know people that work out take those. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm getting the cilantro out of my salad. You seriously pick out every single piece? <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't like no, cilantro. <laughs> this looks harder than like any school project I've ever had to do. <laughs> Just go hire a homeless person to do it for you. It's been about 10 minutes, so. It's been since like 9.30. No, it hasn't. Hey, Albie, you wanna try this energy drink with me? It's called Bang. Does it have alcohol in it? No. Yeah. It's called Power Punch. I, Is it great? No, dude, it's Power Punch. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that tastes very artificial. You gotta try this, it's really good. It's called Power Punch. Power Punch. I think you'll like it. Zero sugar, by the way. I like it. Bruce, so, we used to have chickens, and our chicken one summer got really overheated. And so, my dad and I came home, and he took the chicken inside, because he knew he was really overheated. Uh -huh. He put him on a blanket and a fan, what? and then he gave <laughs> And then he gave him mouth to beak resuscitation because the beak was having trouble breathing. Right. So he put his mouth in its beak and he, he blew. I gave her Gatorade through a medicine dropper. Oh, she, so the, the, the chicken drank the Gatorade. And his, yeah. He didn't spit in its mouth. <laughs> you tried on Hugh's underwear? I was house sitting for them. So you slept in their bed, tried on his underwear, 
slept in their bed naked. What else did you do? <laughs> All right, we're back to it and we got a nectarine. Dude, so there's this really, really sick band that's actually been around for a while and they're called All Get Out, but not many people know about them or listen to them. So, so I'm going to I'm going to plug them right now, dude. The song is called Sands. Let's let's check this out. Hey, what's going on, my mates? So we're in a different spot now, but I just thought this was really, really funny. So I do Lyft and Uber sometimes, you know, to to make a few extra bucks, right? You know what I'm saying? But this lady was like, "Yo, do you have a, a cup holder in your car?" And I was like. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude, of course, you know, I, I got the hookup, but she was like, she's sitting in the back and put it up front and, and left it here. And I'm like, should I drink this? Should I not? Life is good. People leave soda in my car. Still trying to find a, a good spot to buy a can of bubbles or a container of bubbles, but I'm not really in the area that's super good right now. So there's not one, there's not really any grocery stores and two, even if there were, wouldn't be super safe for me to get out. Yeah, I got really stoked on bubbles again. I was like, dude, I wanna, I wanna blow some more bubbles because it's super fun. And then I watched that SpongeBob episode where they, they blow all the bubbles. You know, it's like elephants and like the the little ducks, and it's like you do this and then you know. But yeah, I'm gonna gonna try to get that all sorted out and blow some bubbles in my car because I think that'd be pretty dang sweet. Did anyone ever have sea monkeys as a kid? If you get a spot at Trader Joe's, a spot at all, you're beyond blessed. But if you get a close spot, like I just did somehow, I don't even know how, that's just like next level, dude. Like you're just, like buy a lottery ticket or something cause that's, that just never happens. But I guess, I guess the point is Trader Joe's is <laughs> the best ever. Boom, veggie wrap with hummus from Trader Joe's. 100% vegan. It does contain wheat though, which is vegan. It's cool. It's cool. So if you're all about that vegan veganism, it's for you. Um, 370 calories for the package, which is pretty solid. So you get a lot of you get a lot of stuff in here. I would highly recommend it. If you have a Trader Joe's in your area, go hit it up. I went to the San Francisco one last Thursday, Friday, something like that, just last week, and they didn't have these at the one in San Francisco. And I was really, really bummed out, but I was like, dude, is that like telling of the future that they're gonna discontinue these in like Bakersfield or something? I don't know. I guess only time will tell, right? Cause they did discontinue one of these varieties. So it kind of has me frightened, but I feel like I alone buy enough to support keeping these around at this particular Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're uh, I think that was a good shot. If you're digging the tea, I got it from Slush Colt. I know the mate that does that. He's a really super nice guy. Might be on his website. I'll just put it down there. And I think it's for sale through Zoomies too because he got that distribution. Um, again, just I, I just like when other people do that on their videos if they're wearing a shirt that you know might be considered cool. You know, just say where they got it from. I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, so if, 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 if you're feeling it, you know, slushcold.com. Alrighty, my mates, so we're about to go into the 99 cent store. That's right, 99 cents for everything. I don't think I'm gonna take the camera in there because I've already been in trouble a few times for filming in there. Because, dude, uh, the management is just not what it used to be in there. It used to be super cool, but I'm gonna go in there, try to get some bubbles, maybe a little something to drink but uh yeah i'll update you mates here in a second just like right now Alrighty, my mates i got some pretty good news some very good news well we're gonna start off with the, the diet dr pepper right here got that from the 99 cent store it was quite the find i'm always excited when they have it there Mm-hmm. and also wait for it wait for it and by the way this is no exaggeration i am probably in the worst part of bakersfield that you can imagine like not not joking not exaggerating nothing like this is actually like i'm in a dangerous area and people are staring at me and okay <laughs> all right we're good but we got the bubbles i was so scared i was about to leave because i was I was hanging my head in defeat and shame because I couldn't find the bubbles. I didn't think they had bubbles. Well, I mean, I did when I went in there. I was fairly certain that they did, but I didn't see them in the toy section, but they were in the summer play section. And I was so ecstatic when I saw them. It even comes with the little kazoo and the bubble. Oh, dude, 
This is so exciting. All right, let me open these real quick and I'll get back to you. Alrighty, my mates. So we're, we're set up at a completely different different station now, dude. I don't know why sometimes I like have a speech impediment, but better light. So first test. I learned how to blow a bubble from SpongeBob, so <clears throat> I should be chilling on the technique because the technique is the most important part. I think we all know that. That kind of goes without saying. Um, so let's see what we got here. Dude, that was huge. Let's do multiple. Let's let's do a few. <laughs> ah! I love when you catch it. Ah! Wait. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying to do multiple. Come on. Fudge sickles, dude. <laughs> this is a little something that I composed. Okay, that that's. What the. What are you even supposed to do with this, dude? What? I'm pretty sure it's frowned upon to blow bubbles at a red light and film yourself, but that's okay. We're just going to go for it. <laughs> oh, shoot. What's up, my mates? So we just got home. Going to power down the car right here. Probably going to go inside and maybe blow a few more bubbles. Maybe just a few more bubbles and just hang out for a little bit. Hope everyone's doing well today. It's mail time. Hi, mail time. Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. Lose clues. I still remember that like it was like just 15 years ago. We're gonna do a little bit of bubble blowing here. We're gonna have a little, little session. The key is to really, really get the suds going. Whoa. I'm gonna catch one in my mouth, around my tongue. When I was a kid, they used to make these flavored bubbles. It was pretty legit. <laughs> I'm gonna blow out the camera. Uh, I don't wanna screw up the lens though, hold on. Oh, dude, that was so close. Hey, what's going on my mates? We have made it to the end of the vlog. Thank you so so much if you watch up until this point I have so much fun filming these editing these and I and I feel like I'm making progression each time I do it And it's just so great if you're watching. I love you if you only watch like two seconds of it Still awesome, but follow me on all my stuff if you if you like if that's what you want to do But most importantly subscribe because you know, we're gonna keep doing fun stuff like this So hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out